So, when we just got home from church, I um, almost stayed in here with me and slept because she didn't know what to do with him. He had to come poo poo. And she leaves for church like before 8 and doesn't get home to like 12, so she doesn't want to leave him in the cage for all that time. So, he came in here with me and he slept. Again, I'm, I'm very aware, you know what I mean? I'm a light sleeper, and I was aware of him. Um, I felt that he was safe. Um, besides, when it's pitch black in here, which it is, even though it's light out because I have everything covered in the windows, um, he's afraid to even jump down. He thought my mom was home. It's funny, he had his premonition, people. He thought that my mother was home. So, he wouldn't jump down because it was pitch black. I'm like, okay, is Grandma home? Grandma got all excited. And then I turned the light on so he could jump down. He's afraid to jump down in the dark, so he's smart, you know. Um, that's why I don't worry too much about him being in here. But it was exceptional circumstances. I haven't had him in here, you know, when I'm sleeping or anything like that. Because the room's still a disaster zone, disaster area. Um... And Grandma wasn't home. But Grandma came home a few minutes later, so was that premonition on Omar's part? I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Um, well, we got a wake up call lesson learned. My mom did. The only reason she got that fucking Verizon phone for $79 that time was because she was a new customer to Verizon. She left T Mobile. Okay? Now she's not a new customer, and until she's. Um, until she's, you know, it's time for her upgrade. Not $79. Over 250 You believe that? He ever said that? Fuck me. Okay? I said, see, Mom? So then he's like, well, I have old phones. People turn them in. We could sell you old phones. And actually, he, he sold us an old phone. Um, with an old charger. I, thought, I said, I thought all phones now, even the $800 phones, have the same little tiny charger. He's like, they do. But this is an old phone. It used, that's not, it, it's not how it used to be. It used to be different kinds of chargers. Now they're all the same. Oh. You know what? This charger is cool. It's worth it because she, she was able to do it fine. It's bigger. It's a bigger charger. Like the hole's bigger, the thing that goes in bigger, and this is the best part. The chargers, phone chargers, you can't tell which end it's supposed to go in. They both look identical on the charger. And my mom, was, he showed her. At least he, I said, you got to back me up here. I said, I don't know if it's because she can't see what I wasn't going to I didn't say anything about her illness. Anything like that. I, said, I said to her, I said, no, maybe it's because you can't see what but I think this will be a good idea to get this used phone. Um, and it looked brand new. It looked like the people had taken perfect care of it. Um, and it has a bigger charger. Now, granted... It doesn't have the internet, it doesn't have picture taken, it doesn't have any of that, those things, okay? It's just one of those, um, but she doesn't do any of that, the internet or anything like that, so what does it matter? You know what I mean? And the fact of the matter is, the only other option would be, which would be a better option for her, but I think she wants to keep her phone number, I don't think she can keep her phone number if she got a prepaid phone. They pick your phone number. They don't let you. They don't let you keep a phone number. It's a prepaid phone. I doubt it. Anyway, I don't know for sure. I'm mean, could ask, but you know what I mean. So with the charger, it cost over a hundred, but better than two fifty. Better than two fifty. You know what I mean. The reason it's so much is because they these companies they want you to buy the expensive phones. They don't want you buying the cheap ones. So now they're they're they cost a lot in the cheapest phone. That's why a lot of people who don't have money you go for prepaid. Um, but this would be good for her because I don't want to be having to charge her phone every night for her. I want her to be able to do things on her own. You know? So she was able to do it fine. It's bigger, and the best thing is it has an arrow, and up it has an arrow that you can feel, even if it's in the dark or something, you can feel the arrow, and that tells you you're putting it in the right way. I don't know why she's having such trouble, but, you know. But, 
she has 14 days to decide and you know she can return it because she might hate it and I couldn't get the alarm to work and I don't know why I said it didn't go off so I'm gonna finagle fool around with that and figure out what's going on with that I don't know I'm 171.2 right now. Uh, I used to wear these to working out at the gym um, because, as some of you women may be aware of, if you wear looser shorts and you do things like I do, the stretching exercise, and my legs are up in the air and whatnot like that, well or even just sitting down and, and doing the crunches and you know because you don't have your legs together you have them out a little bit you give you sometimes can give guys a free show now the guys might like it sometimes but you know so it's better to wear stuff that's form fitting like these things um, when you're at the gym clean the toilet last night Right, I I have to clean it better. Um, I'm fasting today under just water. I'm also going to do four of my detox, you know, my inner health detox, colon cleanse things. I'm starting off 171.2, so I'll be down in the 160s tomorrow. Don't stay that way, but you know, get an inch along here. I still have all that prune juice that my mom bought before when she kept buying it for me. I like to do that apple juice fast again that I did before, but I like to do it with the filter juice. Um, I mean the the non-filtered juice. Was it non-filtered? Um, and that they don't sell in like supermarkets. I'd have to get my ass somehow um, to uh, like a Trader Joe's or a Whole Foods, something like that would probably have the, the non-filtered juice. Um, like I said I have to return all of my sweaters. He's not in a medium. I thought he was. He's not. He's in a large. Doesn't seem possible that little pug's in a large, but he is. The medium doesn't fit him correctly. Now the medium coat, I have to show you guys the coat. The coat fits him. But if you saw these coats, I mean, he'd never, they're the way they're designed. They, he'd never be in a large. I was at Walmart, and the guy saw me looking at Halloween. I have to return the Halloween costume, too. That's too small. Um, but smaller than the sweaters. I mean, you saw I got the sweater on him, but it's it's not big enough. Um, so I have to return them all. I didn't realize. And then I found that old one. That's the same sweater. It's the same $5 sweater that I bought years ago at Walmart for him. You know, bought that sweater for 5 bucks. Decent little sweaters for 5 bucks at Walmart. I have complaints about them. The coat's cute, too. And the coat's 15 And I was like, how much was that coat? I'm like, I don't know. Fifteen. I'll have to check the receipt. I still keep them warm. It doesn't have a hood. I don't think dogs like dogs don't like put your clothes them clothes on them anyway. But they definitely doesn't like don't like hoods. I know that because I we had a coat. They had, there was a coat for Angel. I don't know where it came from. The auntie got it or had it or something. If someone gave it to her, but and it has a hood. <laughs> I think I put it on Angel with the hood, and then Omar just to try it out, not to like wear out in public or anything. And they they couldn't stand the hood, neither of them. But this coat's nice; it doesn't have a hood. And uh, and the guy saw me looking at those. He's like, "Oh, I got a box." It's I don't even know what's in it. You want to see it? I think it's, but it's dog clothes. I'm like, sure, why not? And it was coats in all different sizes. They were decently made. You know, they look decent. And he definitely wouldn't be in a large. But in the sweaters, yeah, he's fucking in a large. Cause 
that medium to the fit them correctly. is too bad because I told you I went somewhere else and got different, better colors, more gender appropriate, like dark blue and gray instead of maroon and pink and or whatever, if it's pink, I don't know. Selena didn't like the pink polka dots on him, but, you know. He does get cold, he shivers. Remember, he's not long-haired, and when we walk him in the winter, he does shiver. We even had a stranger come up to us, but, but if someone wrapped but they could, you should have your dog in a coat or a or a sweater or something. Just, you know, yeah, no shit. I don't know where it is. Um, I've been going through all these papers, as you know, but not, not 100% carefully. So, last night while watching, um, Sarah Silverman on HBO, and then watching this other thing. It was called Entertainers or something. I don't know. It had different stars talking about movies they were going to be in. Um, last night on HBO, oh my god. I want to see if it's on again. I didn't see quite the whole thing. There was a comic on HBO. Um, He's not, not attractive at all, but he's, he jokes about that, and he jokes about how he's 45 now, and, and you know, looking like that at 17, not, not gonna, you know, but now he's cut up, and now he's 45, and it's okay to look like this. And he's overweight, too, and, you know, he, one of his jokes is, he loves to, and I'm th I told my mom, you know, that's killing us. John Barron writes the thing, people are, people sitting is killing, killing people prematurely. Too much sitting. And when you're at work all day, you should, and you're sitting, you should, you should get up every hour just to look, walk around a little bit and walk around the office and then sit back down. It's killing people just to be sitting like that. It's killing your body. And, and he jokes about it. He's like, he's like, if I had to choose between sitting down and doing nothing or, 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 or standing up and fucking, I would choose the sitting down and doing nothing. He's clearly very lazy. But, I mean, he's a comedian, but he's also, it's backed up. He's not saying all this and he looks like a Greek god, you know. Um, but he's very twisted. He's funny. I was laughing my ass off. I don't know if I've ever heard such a twisted comic. Talking about if we, if murder was legal, people would be murdering each other left and right. There'd be bags to, like, for mothers to, to put their kids in, like, they have doggy bags for poop, like, please, if you murder your child, pick, oh my god. You know, obviously I'm going to age restrict this video, but he's twisted. I mean, really twisted. I was like, whoa. Whoa. I think I have some twisted thoughts. He's fucking twisted. Everyone, most, I'm sorry, most people, probably not Mother Teresa, but most people have twisted thoughts from time to time. I told you, Andy Romero, when I was making out with him, and that's not as twisted as this comic, but he was like, he said right to me, he didn't care, he's like, because I was a virgin, and I wasn't going to have sex with him, but we made out for hours on his bed, and he's like, I can see why guys rape, you know? Obviously, he, I mean, he was turned off, I mean, he's attractive, attracted to me, and he, you know, he was all hot and bothered. I mean, I wasn't doing anything. He might have... I don't... Probably because it would be... I, he knew I was a virgin, I mean. And I was a 23-year-old virgin, which isn't common. You know. It's really not common nowadays, but it wasn't common back then either. Um... And we just kissed and necked. I mean, I think he probably probably touched me up here a little bit, but I was I didn't. Uh... And that was because he was a brand I just met him. You know what I mean? If I'd seen him again, I'm sure we would have gone farther. You know what I mean? The fact is, I don't know him, and I don't want to get him all hot and bothered and have him rape me or something. I don't know who he is, you know. So I'm certainly not going to say, well, yeah, I'm a technical virgin. I've done everything but, you know. Because remember, with my college boyfriend, I did everything but. 
and the butt only did, I mean, I did everything but, including the butt, <laughs> but he just didn't want to take my virginity, I don't know, I have no idea why, only he knows, and he's not talking, so, I offered it to him, Whatever reason he don't want to be my first. Oh my God. I, he was on. He's he's twisted. Sarah Silverman had some twisted things going on too. She, I didn't laugh as much with her though. This guy cracked me up. I want to see him again. Last time when Amy Schumer, who also cracked me up, of course. Um was on late at night, you know, at 11 on HBO, and then my mom's like, we didn't have to rush to stay up and watch this show, blah, 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 whatever, it's on now, Sunday morning, I'm like, oh my god, I don't care if it's HBO, this is Sunday morning, where kid, I, I couldn't believe Amy Schumer's special was re-airing on Sunday morning, you know, I was a little taken aback about that, so I wonder if his thing will be on too. Oh, no. Oh, no. And then I thought Amy Schumer again was looking up in HBO, HBO channels. I still would like to know, I mean, I stumbled across that real sex. I told you I watched it after my mom went to bed. Um, I mean, okay, spoiler alert for Kelly and Cal. Really good movie. Right in the beginning of the movie, there's a masturbation scene. Um, Now, because it's in a movie, my mom said, is she doing that? I'm like, yeah, obviously, Mom, you know, but she didn't, she didn't get all, whatever. Um, she knows better, because we watched Greenberg or something, and there was a scene where the Greenberg was going down on this woman, and my mom was getting uptight. I'm like, I'm not going to watch anything with you. If you, It's not showing anything. You, you're a, you're a full-grown adult. You're going to get uptight about this, then, then just don't watch these movies with me, you know? We didn't know that was going to happen any more than you know the masturbation scene was going to happen in Kelly and Cal. Um, good movie. Good movie. Five to seven. Good movie. Five to seven gets three stars from me. Kelly and Cal gets four. I didn't love five to seven. It was a little strange. It was a little... But it was decent. I didn't, I know what I mean, I didn't love it, but definitely didn't hate it, and, you know, but I didn't love it as much as, like, my four-star movies. Remember, very few movies get five stars from me. The, the, the creme de la creme of movies. You know, two, two that starred the late Robin Williams, Dead Poet Society, and, um, that other one with Matt Damon. I think you remember it. I could remember it before, and then I remembered it, and now I forget again. Ones with Al Pacino have gotten five stars from me. Um, I think Son of a Woman, and maybe Awakenings, I, I forget exactly. And then ones with, you know, with, with the great actors, um... which is not a five-star movie. Huh. Did you guys know that was filmed here in Massachusetts? Goodwill Hunting with Matt Damon and the late Robert Williams. Who's movie Boulevard? I need to see. And actually Redbox did that thing they do once in a while where I can get a movie, buy one, rent one, get free rental, but you do it online and it just winds up giving you the movie for free, so I can't pass that up. The next things coming to my queue in Netflix are going to be um, The Riot Club and On the Road.
take my coupon. My coupon's usually good for the weekend, so it should be good for today, I would think. seen such a twisted comic. I've seen really sexually raunchy comics, but he is just, he's twisted with his thoughts he has. What he says is true. He talks about, like, how these people, he's like, he's like, because he segues into, I don't know what I'm capable of. He's like, because, you know, I say things, like, I get behind the wheel of a car and I'm such an asshole. I like to think of myself as a good person, but he's like, my God, I get behind the wheel of the car and somebody might you know, make me have to go like this for a second and I shout out the window, I hope you die, you know, but he's like, you'd never do that in an elevator. you never, that's true. People are so brave. This is like, so people are so brave online, saying the most horrible things to people, saying them even to, to stars, to whatever. Um, they have that sometimes on, on Jimmy Kimmel, you know, where they, they, they have the horrible tweets and stuff that, that people say to stars. You know, to these famous people, and, but people are so brave, and people are brave on the road too. But, but they shouldn't be because road rage is becoming more prevalent. And that four-year-old girl got blown away because, you know, her father shouldn't have. Apparently, from what I'm reading, her father was engaging in the road rage too. It was like a back and forth thing that ended in gunfire, ended with this little girl dead. And there were people saying, well, you know, because. The other guy cut him off, then he did whatever, but then he, they, they had a back and forth, and he did that with kids in the car, so he's going to live with that. Is he responsible for his girl's death? No, he didn't pull the trigger, but still, he's a little bit, partially. I didn't know that. I read it, though you know, the news or whatever will act like, oh, this guy just pulled a gun on the car. No, they were engaging it back and forth. You know? The guy with the gun is who started it. But then the guy with the father, father said something to him, and then there was, there was like a back and forth thing. And some people were saying, if they, I think they witnessed or they read about it, that, that guy, the father was trying to run the other guy off the road. I mean, he's doing this all, so he was, he's not equally guilty. But he has to accept some guilt, some responsibility for the death of his little girl because he should have not engaged in it, you know. This comic talks about it. He's like, yeah, I think of myself as a nice person, but I wonder what am I capable of. And because I, the way I be, he's like, I turn into a horrible person when I'm behind the wheel of a cop, you know. He's like, somebody might accidentally, just for a second, go in my lane, like, just for a split second, up, and, and I shout horrible, horrible things to them, like, this, you know, and, and then he segues into, it makes me wonder what I'm capable of, and then he goes into the, well, if murder was legal, he's like, everybody would murder. He's like, people who didn't murder, you'd look at them funny. It, it, it's just, I don't know, he's, he's twisted. He is twisted. I mean, it didn't bother me because, you know, I have a lot of twisted fuck shit, fucked up shit in me, but he just, he's, he's got to be one of the most twisted. And for the record, I love stand-up comedy. I mean, I really do. I love stand-up comedy. Um, someone like Carrot Top doesn't, that kind of comedy I don't like. That's never appealed to me, that kind. But this guy last night had me in stitches. Not when he got really, really twisted about the murdering thing and stuff. Um, but what he talked about was true. What he said also, he like he likes to see people on dates. And he's like, and I've told you, you guys this. He's like, it's amazing that women even accept, you know, a guy's, you know, asking him out on a date. Because we are, as men, are the biggest threat to women. You are. Statistically, men are the biggest threat to women. Whereas, with like this comic said, heart attacks are the biggest threat to men. And you men are the biggest threat to us, we women. 
that's something to think about. And I told you guys about that, about Gavin's, you know, Gavin DeBeck's, or is it Gavin DeBecker's gift of fear? That a very nice lady, nice woman, around my age, when I first went into that shelter in April 12th, she was my friend. Who my friends She, um, she was a favorite. Got out. I'm going to go see if I'm going to poo-poo. He didn't go this morning. I bet he went poo-poo, though. She took a little bit of a walk. 